He's played second fiddle to Iron Man, second fiddle to Iron Man supporting cast, and second fiddle to Iron Man's astrologer. But this time, Tom Holland swings into uncharted territory, playing third fiddle to Spider-Man. Spider-Man No Way Home. The worst kept secret in nerdum is out. All the live action Spider-Man are back, except for the two from the 70s. They've taken a break from either starring in Oscar nominated movies or narrating the boss baby in a film that pleases everyone from millennials who look as old as Toby did in Spider-Man 1 to younger revisionists who insist everyone secretly loved the Andrew Garfield movies. Red boy, huh? With so many in-jokes, memes, and references. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. You'll swear you've been in a coma since 2014. You are amazing. No, I kind of needed to hear that. Thank you. Huh, doesn't really sound too bad, actually. I want to forget. You're so soft, Poop. I've been a bad kitty. Ah, ah, ah. Spider-Man's identity has been revealed, and Peter's only solution is to brainwash everyone so they forget all the horrible things he's done. Tony would be so proud. Thrill as he teams up with the Sorcerer Supreme to wave his hands around and say multiverse until the Sony films pop out, pulling in all the characters you loved, some of the characters you forgot about, and none of the characters Sony would like you to forget about in this potentially cosmic threat that sounds like a job for Doctor Strange. But this time he's been replaced with someone more like Doctor Oz. I'm sorry, sir. Says no! should not be able to do that. I've been dangling over the Grand Canyon for 12 hours. I know, hours. I know, I know. If he turns out to be a scroll, I'm gonna be so pissed slash pleased with myself for calling it. While Spider-Man is busy fiddling with two different magic boxes, discovering the scientific cure for evil, and other relatable teenage stuff like dating Zendaya or being too famous for college, you'll catch up with old pals like Flash Thompson, a bully who's taken so many L's he had to green screen himself into a party, the faculty of Midtown High, who really deserve their own Disney Plus series. Please? Mysterio was right. Stop. Mysterio we don't, that's all. Right. A sad happy. I could have been more fun. I'll hang out again. Wait, do you think? And Aunt May, who's ready to graduate from being a female sex object to being a female sex object killed off to motivate the male hero. Aw, don't feel too bad, Pete. Everyone you love has to die no matter what universe you're in. My Uncle Ben was killed. It was my fault. I lost Gwen. My, um... She was my MJ. Why are you crying? This is supposed to be inspirational. Watch Marvel pull off a Sinister Six minus one like it was no big deal. Featuring Willem Dafoe's iconic Green Goblin, one of the best comic book movie performances ever. Norman's on sabbatical, honey. Alfred Molina's well-earned victory lap as Doc Ock when he's not being roasted by Zoomers. Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? Jamie Foxx's Electro, who improves on his debut by changing every single thing about it. What happened to you? Did you get a makeover? Sandman's there. And Lizard, who they keep in a truck to hide the fact that he looked better 10 years ago. Even Reptile in the new Mortal Kombat looked better. Even Reptile in the old Mortal Kombat looked better. But Spidey won't give up on curing all these bad boys of their impure thoughts. In fact, he'll dose them with hot liquid therapy, then portal them back to the lives they've already ruined. Thanks, Spider-Man. Norman Osborn may have lost his son, company, and reputation, but now he'll be able to feel crippling regret over it. What have I done? So get ready to cheer when you see it in theaters. That's great. because those moments are just awkward to watch by yourself at home. <sighs> okay. Hello. And what's still an amazing two and a half hour brain vacation. That's the cinematic equivalent of all your exes coming together to reminisce on all the good times you had. I love you guys. And not the time they made you, well, you know, watch Amazing Spider-Man 2. Starring Peter Parker picked a pack of partners. Whip, whip, boom. The Spider House rules. 
Zen and the Art of Multiversal Maintenance, Ant-Man, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, the assistant to the regional sorcerer. If I were a fix man. <laughs> the Green Golem. Project Power. I don't like sand. Welcome back, Connors. Alex Jones Jameson. Netflix and billable hours. And say the line, say it. With great power, there must also come great responsibility. Yay! The Adventures of Pete and Pete and Pete. Don't let MIT be dumb like me. MIT is dumb? Well, you're the vice chancellor and you can't figure out a childproof lock, so maybe? Doors locked. Doors hey! Hey, Screen Junkies. We've all got our personal favorites, but which version of Spider-Man has actually saved the most civilians? Who's been bullied the most? Who's upside down made out more than once? We put these three Spider-Men to the test to find out which spider reigns supreme in our latest episode of By the Numbers. Click the thumbnail on the right to see who wins. Every triangle is a love triangle when you love triangles. If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Nutella is angelic pew. This program was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.